Hey guys, I'm the Burke and I do things. And today's video is going to be my quarterly makeup inventory update and makeup roulette. So what I do in these videos every quarter is I go through my makeup inventory and I tell you how many products have come in and out of each category. And then I let a random number generator choose a full face of makeup products for me to put on my face in this video. I will say that last night was a rough night for us. Phoebe was awake from 1.30 a.m. to 4.30 a.m. Teething is fun and I am very tired. There's an extra shot uh, in this puppy. I have not brushed my hair. I am literally just wearing a football t-shirt. I very much contemplated not filming today, but my, abil my availability for filming is very limited lately. I could not pass up an opportunity. So this is what we're getting today. As far as my inventory goes this past quarter, I feel like I made a purchase pretty early on in July. And then there was a point where a friend from out of town came and we met up and I did do a mini declutter for that because she's a really big makeup lover too. So I gave her some products that I was decluttering. And then anything else that's really come in other than those two items are from either my box charms and ipsies over the last three months. So I haven't been doing too much spending, but yeah, that's about it for the introduction. So if you guys are interested in hearing about my inventory updates and seeing a full face of random makeup, which I have no idea what we're gonna get today, uh, then keep on watching. Let's go. Okay, so I always start with bronzers, blushes, highlights, and face palettes. So I'll go through the inventory updates and then I'll let a number generator choose between one individual products or two, a face palette. So for bronzers, in the third quarter of this year, I got two new ones in July, decluttered one in August, and got a new one in September. Then for blushes, I had no change until September where I got two new blushes. And then for highlighters, I decluttered three in August. And for face palettes, I decluttered nine in August. So there was definitely some good decluttering going on there. So the first thing I will do is choose between one and two. And I just used, just use Google. I don't have like a fancy app. And we got number one, so we're gonna use individuals, which I feel like it's been a while since I've gotten individuals. So, so for bronzers, I do have 43. And we got number 13, which, mm, this used to be an old favorite of mine. So this is going to be a good one to use. And I think it will be a good one to use today. So for individual blushes, I have 69. And we got number 46. Ooh, that is definitely one I haven't used in a while. And then lastly, we have highlighters. For highlighters, I have 38. We got number 29. Definitely have not used that one in a while. Now we'll talk eyeshadow palettes. So I did not get any new in in the last quarter, but I did declutter eight palettes. And when I do my eyeshadows, I let the number generator choose between one a palette or two five individual shadows. So in the second quarter, those eight individual eyeshadow palettes decluttered lowered my pans by 79 pans. So first we'll choose between individuals or a palette, which honestly, I'm good with either. Like I'm just, I'm too tired to honestly care at this point. So we got two, so we will be doing five random eyeshadows. So in my collection right now, I have 776 different colors of eyeshadow. So our first number is 359. Oh, goodness. Okay, that's quite a way to start. Next I have 488. Oh, good God. Remember when I was like, I'm good, I'll do whatever. Regretting, regretting. I literally don't even know what that one is and it sounds scary all right 626 that might be a safe one fourth shadow 196 okay that might also be a good safe one uh, i need safe ones all right last eyeshadow is going to be number 357 oh dear oh deary dear i regret everything i said at the beginning of this video okie dokie the next category is going to be foundations. I'm like not self tan, but not not self tan. So I don't know what. Well, I'll decide based on what we land on. So in July, I got a new foundation. In August, I used up a foundation. In September, I got a foundation. So I currently have 69 in my collection. We got number 60. It's one that's going to be too light for me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use it, but I'm going to use the product I used to darken foundations a little bit. 
to darken it. Because it's one I haven't used in a while. And I would like to use it again. That's my plan. I'm not going to randomly pick up eye primer today. Because usually I'll use my, my glitter primer if there's a glitter involved. But just to let you know, I did wind up decluttering one in August. Okay, so for concealers, I got a new one in July and used up two in August. So I currently have... 34. We got number 12. Oh dear. I'm going to draw two concealers because that one is going to be too dark for the foundation. So I'll use two and mix them together. Just And I got 10, which is also too dark. All right. I need to pick one that's going to be lighter because I got like the lightest foundation ever. Okay. This one, this one is too light. So this will work. Okay. Number 24, we can do a mixture of because... Whew, otherwise, that would not have worked. All right, we make the rules up here. All right, setting sprays. July, I got three, used one up, and then in August, I think I decluttered three. So right now I have 31 setting sprays. We got number five. Ooh, I don't know the last time I used this one, so this is a good one to get. Rail products. I got two in July. And I used two up in August, so I have 53 right now. We got number 29. Okay, that's a good one. We'll just do that one. I'm not even gonna draw another product. We'll just use this one. Eyeliners. I used up two in July and one in September, so I currently have 51. We got number 46. I swear I've gotten this one before in a roulette. Alrighty, next we have face powder. And I got one in July, so I currently have 33, and we got six. <laughs> Okie dokie. I just, I don't know. We'll see. Primers, I got two in July, used up one in August. I currently have 39. We got number 38. Ooh, that's a brand new one I've never used before, and I'm very excited because I've wanted an excuse to use it. Lipsticks. Okay, oh, for lips. So for lips, I have four categories. Lipsticks, liquid lipsticks, lip liners, lip glosses. I'll go through the inventory stuff and then we'll let a number generator choose between one and four. So for lipsticks, I had no change at all this quarter. So I have 74. Liquid lipsticks, again, no change, have 85. Lip glosses, I got two in July, used up one in August, got one in September. <laughs> so I have 90. And lip liners, I had no change. I actually haven't gotten a new lip liner since June 2020. So I'm still sitting at 30 there. <laughs> Let's choose between one and four. And we got one, so we're gonna do a lipstick. And I have 74, and we got the number 67. Ooh, that is not a thing. All right, we're going, we're doing it. I'm totally fine. All right, for mascara, our final category, I got one new one in July. I have currently 28, and we got number 20. Oh yeah, I do have that one. Okay, yeah, it's one that's open, so I can definitely use that one. And it's one that I have interesting thoughts on, so I guess we can talk about our thoughts because I like it and I don't like it at the same time. All right, I'm gonna go grab all this makeup. I'm very scared <laughs> and I'll be right back. Okay, this might be one of the weirdest makeup looks we do on this channel, but that's okay, that's okay, that's okay. So the first product I will be starting off with is a primer. And like I said, this is one that I've never tried before. I got this in BoxyCharm in PR and this is the Touch and Soul Icy Sherbet Primer. I've Currently been panning their Glassy Skin Balm and I really, really enjoy it. So I'm pretty excited to try this one out. So this is what it looks like. Oh, I'm so excited. Ooh. Okay, here we go. I'm excited. It's very cold to the touch. Kind of has a silicone-y primer feel, but like a cooling silicone primer. I don't hate it so far. Just <laughs> off initial feeling. Okay, like I said, for concealer, I did wind up on a one on one that was a little too deep for me. So I also landed on one that was too light for me. So I mix concealers every day to begin with. So this is totally normal for me. So the one that's too dark is the Maybelline Age Rewind. I have this in the shade Neutralizer. This shade does not work for me. And then the one that's too light I landed on is the NYX Born to Glow, which I heard they discontinued, which I'm surprised because I thought that was a very popular product for them. So usually what I do is I'll go with the darker more on the outer portion and then I'll also use the darker just to spot conceal a bit and then I'll go with the layer on the inner portion and kind of blend it all together. Interesting that I landed on two that are little like sponge tips because I think they're the only two 
in my whole collection that are sponge tip. I'm gonna let it set for a second and then we'll blend it out. Sponge I'm using today is one I got on BocuCharm last year and this is from Hip Dot. I'm just gonna blend it up the concealer. And I'm also gonna take the concealer onto my eyelid as well. Okay, now for the foundation. So for foundation, I did land on my Oma Beauty Say What foundation. I have this in the shade White Pearl T1N. It's way too light for me. So the product I use right now to mix into my foundations is this tiny little Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin. It doesn't really seem to change the foundation too much. It just kind of helps me get a little bit more pigmentation to it. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I feel like with this foundation, it's very liquidy and I feel like I never really got on with it because the shade was always like way too light for me. So I feel like everyone who has the blue cap also seems to really like their foundation. And I feel like something about the formula with the pink cap doesn't seem like the same consistency. I feel like that people who have the blue cap say, so I don't know. All right, I think I added too much. We're just gonna mix these two products together and see how it goes. I'm gonna go with my e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Sponge. Sponge brush, not sponge. And see how mixing these two products go. Yeah, I feel like if I hadn't, it would have been way too light. Okay, that actually looks pretty good. I feel like the two combined. The next thing I'm gonna do is I, I'm gonna go with my highlighter. I landed on the ColourPop Flexitarian highlighter. Because I have a glowy blush I landed on, I'm gonna go in with this now <laughs> because I don't wanna go in with this last because this is a very metallic highlighter. Like, what I wanna do is I wanna put it on right now and then kind of blend it in with my foundation brush just to kind of make it look a little bit more natural and then hope it shines through like the powders and stuff rather than having this be the top product right now because it is an intense highlighter. I will say for how unbelievably old this is, I'm pretty sure I got this in 2018. It is still extremely creamy, but it is a little bit more blinding than I wear these days. For my powder, for right now, I'm just gonna set my under eyes and like my brows and stuff so I can fill them in and then, and then maybe like a little bit around where I'm gonna bronze. But I'm not gonna do the whole face because I just don't feel like it. I did land on a powder foundation, uh, the J-Cat Aqua Shorens in the shade Porcelain. I actually love this foundation. I own it in three shades. I don't usually use that as a setting powder, but we can try to say, I mean, Lord knows, I could use all the coverage I can get after last night's sleep, so. My dark circles will appreciate it. So I'm just gonna kind of sit around my eyes and then the perimeter of my face and leave the rest untouched for at least now. I will say, I always feel like I have issues with the Oma sticking to my nose. I don't know why. I also feel like this, even though this is the porcelain shade, I feel like it darkened my under eyes compared to the rest of my skin. So that's fun. Then I'm gonna go with this Beach Cosmetics number one brush to set around the perimeter. I'm gonna keep it on hand though in case I wanna use it later. For brows, I land on my NYX Fluff and Fill. So this is a brow pencil that's a pomade pencil. It's not my all-time favorite. Not because I don't like the formula, but it's more like a triangular tipped pencil. And that's just not my preference when it comes to shapes. It does have like one of those little brushes like the Fenty Brow Pencil has, which is the reason I originally got it because I wanted to try it out for the little brush not realizing it was a pomade pencil, which is like a weird concept to like understand, but I mean, it, it's okay. It's it's not a fave and it's not one I plan to repurchase. I just can't get as precise of an application as I usually like because it's so thick. Basically what I do is I put a little bit in and then I just use the little brush to kind of navigate the product. Not the worst. I have this in the shade Ash Brown, which I think it's a little warm for an ash brown. I'm gonna call it for today. Next, I'm gonna use a bronzer. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. This, this used to be a fave. I got this a long time ago at TJ Maxx. I'm gonna go with this BH Cosmetics number 124 brush. It still smells like chocolate. I actually really like this. I think it's like a, a nice, like more like contoury shade. It does say it's for medium to deep. It's a medium deep bronzer, but to me, it always felt like um, a nice contoury kind of bronzer for me, so I like it a lot. Ooh, I think I'm getting a package. What could it be? Ooh, I swear to God, if they just delivered the wrong boots, I'm gonna freak out. 
I don't know what is so crazy, but I ordered snow boots for Phoebe in a size toddler four. And I swear DSW will not stop sending me the youth four instead of the toddler four. And of course it's not sold in stores. I'm gonna, I'm gonna rage pretty soon. I don't have the patience. Now for the blush I landed on. This is from Becca and this is one of her voluminous brush, the luminous blushes. I got the shade Tiger Lily, which does not match the eyeshadows we landed on at all, which is interesting. Uh, I'm gonna use this real her love what you do brush. This one's new. I've never used this, bl this brush before, but I wanted something a little bit fluffier because this is a pretty impactful blush and it's very shiny and I already have that color pop very shiny highlighter on so I just wanted to go a little easy on the blush for now maybe I can add a little bit more once the eyes are done but I have a feeling this one's not going to really match our eye look today for right now that's where we're going to pause and we're going to go into the eyes and this is where I get scared not to mention how much the lip product doesn't match also so Fun, fun, fun. Okay, the first eyeshadow I landed on comes from the Urban Decay and Kristen Leanne palette. Can't say I'm the biggest Kristen Leanne fan anymore, but it's a nice palette to keep just to have a lot of really bright colors. And I landed on the very first one in this palette, which is called Spitfire, which looks like this. So it's like a, it's not really a duochrome, but it quite is a metallic, maybe it is a little bit duochrome-y. It's like a purpley pink met Genta with my peach blush, like I said. Not the most matchy matchy today. Then when I tell you I landed on a freaking loose pigment, I landed on a loose pigment. I know that I bought this when I first started my channel and the first ever makeup video I did was a video of me doing mermaid makeup. This is the Wet n Wild loose pigment in the shade Unicorn Wishes. I'm pretty sure I haven't used this since that video. I'm terrified right now. Okay. It's like, it doesn't really have any, um, it doesn't really have a lot of, uh, I guess it's actually not as scary as I thought. It's just a lot of sparkle. The blue doesn't really show up very much. Hmm. That's kind of a lame color. I don't remember it being so lame. Very interesting. Okay. Maybe this won't be as hard to figure out if the sparkle is just sparkly. Okay. The next thing I got is in my Urban Decay Naked Honey. And I landed on the shade right here, which is Queen, which is like a metallic bronze. Yeah, so, so far, no mattes. Luckily we did get some though. The next two shades were both mattes, luckily. So the next is from my e.l.f. New Classics palette and I landed on number three, which is a pretty basic brown matte, luckily. But it's kind of warm tone, so I don't really know gonna go with these then the last shadow which I did say is a matte comes from the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette and this is the second to last shade which is called soda pop which is extremely dark it's like about as dark of a brown as you can get so I have a lot of thinking to do right now because especially like I feel like this brown with this pink like I would never pair those together so I really gotta think right now Oh, actually, why don't I show you the liner I landed on too? This is the Neutrogena Nourishing Liner, and it's like, um, it's like a brown, a dark brown, so. No, I still don't know what I want to do. I really, I don't know if this is one I can make work. I'm just going to wing it. I'm going to start with the Elf New Classics palette and just kind of try to lightly buff it out, just so we have some sort of a transition. Now I want to try to use the bronze on the on the lower lash line. So I'm gonna go in with an angled brush, but I'm gonna spray it. This is a Alania Bardo angled brush. I think this came in last month's BoxyCharm. I am going to, you know what? I'm gonna put the liner in my waterline first. I, I'm all over the place. I can't tell you the last time I put liner in my waterline. It's been a while. I'm gonna spray the brush. Not loving it, not loving it. That's fine, that's fine for now. Now I'm going to put my NYX glitter primer on and I'm gonna go in just with my finger with Spitfire. I also wanna take something small like this like flat little Morphe brush, just to... My camera started overheating so I went ahead and 
finish the eyeshadow off camera. So what I did was, let's start with the lower lash line. I went in with like a little smudgy brush and I smudged a little bit of the brown matte with the bronze just to kind of blend it together better. Then I went in with the same angle brush with the darker matte from Jaclyn Hill and I created a wing. And then I put some of this in the lid, sprayed a different angle brush, dipped it in and topped the dark matte with the blue pigment and kind of created a blue wing. It's definitely not perfect. Um, like from far away, maybe it looks great. Up close, kind of looks scary. So that's where we are with that. Now let's go in with our setting spray. I landed on this one from Found. This was the one I was using for the eyeshadow. It's their Stardust Illuminating Makeup Setting Spray. This is a brand from Walmart. I don't, I must have gotten this in like an advent calendar. I don't remember how I feel about it, but it has a scent. It has a scent to it that I'm not loving. So I should be able to finish that though. Can you even see? It's like here. I need to finish this up. That's gonna be a goal. Let's do lashes. Remember I said I had feelings about the mascara. This is the Ilia Limitless Lashes Mascara. I like the way it makes my lashes look, but something about this wand constantly makes me feel like I'm stabbing myself in the eyeball. It's like very pointy. Does anyone else have this same experience with this? Because I want to like it because I think it does a really good job with the lashes, but I don't like the brush. It hurts. It shouldn't be painful to put on your mascara. I have to laugh. Scott's having a friend over today and I literally am wearing borderline pajamas with purple pink eyeshadow and blue glittery winged liner. So hopefully Phoebe appreciates it. Let's start talking about the lipstick. The lipstick is not a shade I typically would buy, but last year I got pretty excited when the original Makeup Revolution and Friends collab came out because I feel like they've done essentially 52 since then. But at that point I knew I was pregnant with a little baby named Phoebe and I wanted to get the Rachel and Phoebe lipsticks, only because of that. We landed on the Rachel lipstick today. This, whatever, we're just going in with it. I don't really like the, it's a very matte lipstick. It's kind of this cool tone purple, not usually my style. Uh, yeah, uh -huh. yeah. This is, this is it, this ain't it. I do feel like I'm missing blush. I'm gonna put some more blush on, but I look, like a clown right now and not like a pretty clown I was like a crazy clown I also don't know why like just nope something just isn't looking right to me besides the lips I'm gonna be wiping these lips off like the second we turn off this camera but yeah there you have it I don't know what else to say the eyeshadow is pretty like I said it's the reason I never got rid of the palette because I don't really have a lot of colorful eyeshadow and the Urban Decay colorful palette uh, shadows are really, really good. So I keep them for, we'll say Halloween, which do I even do crazy Halloween anymore? No, but this is the look. I hope you guys are excited with the finale. Yeah, let me know. Whatever you want me to know in the comments. I know this ain't it, so you don't need to tell me. But yeah, as usual, thanks for stopping by my channel. If you're new here, click the subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications. I have my Twitter and my Instagram down below. Give them a follow and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.